This is called an armature. This is the basic form. These legs can be modeled. I've added a mandible. When I build onto it, I didn't I put a little bit of extra wire on mine so I can pose it in a pose and it will stay. Make the head go up, make the wings flappy. When I do that, they're going to stay put. But I didn't like that wire showing, so I put that inside. It's all covered up, and it's okay. And there's my, the start of mine. This is, again, the armature. What's going to happen now is it's going to get puffed up. It's going to turn 3D. I do not want the wings puffed up. Wings are flat. They're planes. I can pose them. I can twist them and turn them, but I do not want them puffed up. There's two ways of puffing it up. One is with a snake. If you take a square of newspaper, and the, by the way, this is just a quarter sheet because this is a small armature. Corner to corner, give it a twist and another twist. You want to keep it fluffy. This is the snake. And I can puff that onto there. I can make this go the length of the body like so. And I can push it in to make it smaller. I can puff it up. I can add more newspaper. The snake. I like the pillow method. If I take a piece of newspaper like this and roll it into itself, I'm only rolling on one side, keeping it fluffy. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And again, that is a quarter of a sheet of newspaper. That leaves one side smooth and the other side um, puffy. And what I want is I want to puff this up by attaching this to here. Here's from the side. That's way too big, but I'll puff it down and it'll be just right. To take some tape, I pull, pinch, pull, pinch, pull, pinch, pull, pinch. I've stacked them up here. If you and your near neighbor want to help each other. Sometimes it helps if you have an extra hand. So I'm going to take this puffy piece. I'm going to take a small piece of tape here. I'm going to take this piece and I'm even going to divide it in half. The tape will keep you from being able to sculpt it anymore. We want to model, form the sticky outy parts, form the three-dimensional parts. So we want to have it fluffy and the tape will keep it so it will no longer be fluffy. So all we want is to be able to hold this on. Here it is from the side, puffing up on this side, flat on this side. This is um, a little bit too long. I can tear that off later. I want to cover that. So I'm going to take a piece here a piece here. And again and again. Anything that sticks up is going to show when we do the paper mache. Wait, haven't we been doing paper mache from the start? No. The first thing we did was make shapes. The next thing we did was create an armature now we're turning our armature, which is still kind of two-dimensional, into a three-dimensional form. Form is three-dimensional. So I'm forming it. And here's um, the head. One piece here. One piece here. I want this to stick in a little bit, so I'm going to pinch that in. And remember, you really can model this. I'm going to take a little piece of string here. I want that to go in. So I'm going to take this string and I'm going to cinch it tight. Pull and pull and pull and that really does make it look insect-like. I can tie this on or I can take an extra piece of tape and tape it in place. Pull it tight, pull it tight, 
and this is good. When I paper mache, that's just going to get covered up and it's not going to show. I like how that is. That looks really insect-like. How it has body parts. I'm going to do the same thing here. I want that here. So in and pull it tight. That's good. If it seems like it's not going to hold together, you can use some string to put it in otherwise. But don't, please, 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 don't take your tape and start taping it all to heck. Because if you do that, you're not going to be able to model it anymore. Taping the whole surface is not paper mache. So this, from the side, I'm going to bend those so you can see it a little bit better. There's the head sticking up. Here's the thorax. Here's the abdomen. If I wanted to, I could take some string and wrap around here. If this wasn't quite big enough, I could take a little bit of extra and slip it underneath to puff it up a little bit more. I can't now because there's some tape in the way, but I can stick more inside and puff it up. This is the top side. I'm not really sure I like the way that looks, so I'm going to take another little puffer that I made earlier, and I'm going to cover that. I don't want it really flat, and here's what I for sure don't want to do. I don't want to take my newspaper and fold it, fold it, fold it. That makes a little flat, hard little handkerchief, and that's not any good for creating form. This might be a little big. I'll start it and see. The good thing about this um, pillow, remember we have snakes or pillows. The good thing about this pillow is that it's so fluffy that if it sticks up too much, it's going to be really easy for me to fluff it down. I really don't like that. That's too much. Really, I wanted this to be more flat than anything else. I don't like that. That's going to show up in a really not good way. So I'm going to flatten this out. Flatten this out. Some of you are going to finish puffing yours up in one day. For some of you, it might take two days, but it should not take you week after week to do this. We actually only have 23 more class days to complete these. And completing them means putting the layers of paper mache on them and painting them and putting on any of the extras that you might want. I pulled that tight and it came loose because it was taped so it tells me I need a knot. So I didn't I really didn't like how that's all fat there. Oh that is so much better. So here we go. Tighten it up. Tighten it, tighten it, tighten it. And a little bit here as well. This still needs work, but it really does give you the idea. Here it is from the side. The abdomen is a little thick. All I have to do is squish it in or puff it up. This goes in nicely. This goes in nicely. From the side, that's good. We do not want fat wings. So I am for sure not going to take some little puffer and make the wings fat. That wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. These are the mandibles. I could still add antennae. I will need to be uh, modeling the legs. 
If you want to be able to paint the legs, you're going to have to wrap them with paper mache. If this is too thin for you, you don't like how that looks, the scale is not quite right. Scale means the size relative to the body of the insect that you chose or the elephant, whatever you did. Then fatten those up too. Fatten those up with snakes, corner to corner, like this. I do not want my legs skinnier, but just to show you how you would, hold it, wrap it, tape it. If it's still not sticking, add a little string. And that would make the leg just a little bit thicker. So, this is called puffing it up. I don't know that there's an official name for it, but you're taking a flat armature and creating a three-dimensional form by attaching newspaper in a way that will be puffy, fluffy, and is, you can still model it. Good luck.